Perhaps you will remember the story of Moses in the burning bush, and, and God calls out to Moses from the burning bush, and um, he says, I need somebody to go down there to Pharaoh and tell him to let my people go. And Moses is like, okay, who should I tell him has sent me? And he says, tell them I am has sent you. I am who I am. And that gets translated into the Hebrew as Yahweh. Everybody say that, Yahweh. All right, you're a Hebrew expert now. There you go. Yahweh. You know what Yahweh translates into? Yeshua. You, you know what that translates into? Joshua. You know what that translates into? Jesus. And that name was so holy and precious, Yahweh, that when the Hebrew scholars would come across it in the reading of the scriptures, they would put in a blank. They would just skip over it. They would have a little hesitation and they would skip over it because the name of God was so holy you shouldn't even say it and you couldn't even write it in some traditions. And here's Jesus saying, I am Yahweh. I am him. I am the one who spoke in the burning bush. I am. And he makes a bunch of I am statements throughout the book of John. I am the vine. I am the good shepherd. I am the gate for the sheep. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And all along, people are going, huh? I thought that was God's name. I thought that was the name that was so holy we weren't supposed to say it. Uh huh. What is Jesus saying? He's saying, I am true God. I am the way to everlasting life.